is Sana. Sana is not the type of champion that's that good at rotating. She's not that good at ganking like the Galio, for example, and these other types of Looking support champions. So exit damage on the Kha'Zix. Oh, that was a close one, Grand. And that was just just a centimeter away. Redemption is ready for that kill. They're gonna push him under the third, and they're gonna try to look for that kill. I'm looking forward to see what happens here. Lonely Kid is that big win potential here. They're gonna pop the ultimate a little bit early, but that means he takes Tara Dagger. He's not the dive, they but got he's not going down. They got Flash him. Flash away for safety, but they still get the kill. There you go, and that. Up. Man, Brusher catches him every single time. To see a fight happen here, oh. it's Libra that trades back with the return solo kill. Oh, and that's Black horrible. Cleaver. And if you look at all of the builds of Formula of uh, of Fury's gaming, actually, they have better items on it. Look at that, they got four items finished off, and Game Lord is sitting on what two items? Well, first spawn coming through Game Lord with the items disadvantage. We'll have to see how much that matters. Brush against caught out, pulled through with a beautiful flash cyclone. Oh, but the heal comes across with Capital C, but stalls for some time. Redemption is not to walk back in, looking for the catch onto the Varus. But Jess gets to walk away. No follow up from Furious. Th that's a big kill from Game Lord right there. They have st are going to start this dragon at a with a massive lead because Brusher is not here. Well, I'm not sure if they can, but Transcendent Embrace comes through. They get the initial catch up onto Tata. Sata gets back on the tower, picks up the honey fruits. You can see Echo positioning over by the side. This is looking big here, trying to jump in. No isolate damage. Misses out the chance for the kill on the redemption. Echo went on a clone. clone. That's kind of funny. Redemption baited him. Echo went on a clone. He used his full engage. He used his ultimate. And Lonely Kid gets the kill this time, Grandin. And a bloodthirsty fight up in the top side. Both top laders trading kills back and forth. It's Fury's gaming, though, Keeping that takes the drag. Effective. So Lonely Kid decides to go for a player of the Rune King, and um, I want him to go for a whole breaker as well. Or I want him to roam around and fight a little more. Gamer is gonna try to push down this turret, but Furious Gaming does have three people defending it. Okay, I'm looking for the Rip Tower charge in the bottom side. Should be able to get it down. The question is, can they get this turret in time? Capital Siva comes oh. across. A beautiful trade back. Just send away Brace. Pulls them back in. Chains Corruption comes across. Priming Cyclone used, but he managed to find a disengaged back. Turret still dishing out damage. Now the secondary Tusk Cyclone comes across. Looking to take down the remaining members here of Furious Gaming. Prussia dies back to the back line. Looking for Jash. But Jash survives and takes Prussia down. Game Lord doing down. it Furious right. Furious Gaming, keep the momentum going. Oh, yeah, and Furious Gaming picked up that first objective, but it's fine. Uh, oh. Game, oh, 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 there it is. No, there it is. Pressure killed Ruiz. Being the able to manage echo waves could be an issue if Game Lords aren't able to get anything else done. Oh. As they down the bottom end, we see big rotations from both sides. Oh, there's going to be a big fight happening right there. I can feel it. Both teams are going to want to fight, and Heste goes in. Beautiful pull. They get the showstopper. Oh. They bring Kaposiba back. Echo stealing away the Krugs. And has stayed pushes him back off. We caught Jash right there. That parallel conversions could very well be the fight starter, but it looks like Redemption is going to perform that role instead. Lonely gets out to dash in, flash away from Libra. Oh, whoa. Both teams are kind of playing safe, but those, those, those Varus arrows, look at those Varus arrows, just constantly rushing through various gaming, dealing so much damage. But it seems like Gamer is going to be on the backhand regardless, but they're going to they're gonna go for the fight again. All right, hunting for the kill, looking to engage, and Senate Embrace comes in, and a beautiful pull, face breaker, engage out from Heste. Now, Game Lords get to run them down, Zada flashes over the wall. Redemption is still over by the side, gets the Nimbus strike on the pressure, taking down three. What a beautiful fight by Game Lord right there. Has they just doing an absolutely phenomenal. But Game Lords will have none of it. They walk away. Yeah, and Brusher is looking for the kill, but it didn't work, unfortunately. Trying to assassinate his opponent, but there is no kill to be found here. Just looking for a couple of spells across as Furious Gaming start the kite away. Wow, and here. Wow, wow, the keep fight keeps going. They might actually go for the fight. Hesse leads the start with oh. it, with the showstopper pulling that back in with the face breaker, trying to finish off their first target. But Hesse goes down a little bit too ambitious. Libra comes in. A huge shield on the Ruiz. He's still alive. There's now Lonely it's Kid. time for Lonely Kid to play his own game. Dancing in between three from Furious Gaming. Prussia trying to chase after for a kill, but he does not have vision. And there we have it. A triple kill for Jash. Oh, and wait, Jash. And the turret. Libra there to try and match that. Oh yeah, and oh, we can see it. Prusher is just constantly looking for aggression, and there he goes. They're moving on to Ruiz. Prusher ults back to safety. And that is not a good thing for Furious Gaming. That one ability, you really need. And you can see it, Lonely Kid is fighting Libra. Here. 
Libra trying to get the kill onto little Lonely Kid. Lonely Kid trying to do the Libra same, died but as well. it's going to be Lonely Kid that comes out victorious. Meanwhile, the fight breaks out by the mid lane. Sartre still very tanky. Soaks up the damage from Game Lords, but Game Lords get control. Lonely to what Furious Game were able to get done before all odds against them. Against one of the, against their toughest opponents. Furious can't see anything. You see that? They can't see no anything. Here. So Game Lords get to work away at Dragon. Dragon, no vision still. Redemption comes through. They initially looking for a fight. There we have it. Flash game looking for the pipe. Pick off. Hesse goes in. And Tristanum Race comes through as well. Ultimate used by Capital C by giving his team a shield as they manage to start kiting away. Over by the back, Jazz still trying to finish off his first target, but he's distracted, caught in between multiple. Rest of his team, Lonely Kid won't be able to take down Echo. Pressure has gone down. Libra still alive, but falls after taking down Jash. Game Lord, you got this. This is the EU team we want to see. We want to see some wins. They're going to get this Elder Dragon for free, and if Kaposiba wants to get some of it, he's going to die. Libra, unfortunately, just desperately defending the turret right there. I like Prusher is backing him up right now, but can only get 1v2. Prusher coming in here. They're looking for this first kill. Repulse comes through. Libra taking good damage. Lonely Kid still chasing after Flash. Back oh, on the tower. It goes down. But he still has Guardian Angel. Prusher trying to chase after. Now the parallel convergence goes to the wrong side. Won't be able to land. He's, He's not still gonna trying to trade back against the Echo. Will not go down. Meanwhile, fight continues. The Flash is over the wall. The committed mode of fight. SH has to chasing after a kill. They find one. Looking for a second. Echo might go down. Sartor left alone to his own devices. Will fall to the efforts of GLD. And in the base, you have Lonely Kid prepared to end the game. Pressure went down. Lonely Kid on the Nexus, taking this one down. 1-0, one going over to Game Lords with a full team ace. GG, that is on one. In, other than Olaf popping yeah. open, trying to run in. Like, there was no way to hold someone down here. We gotta give him to so much credit for this. He's like, I would actually say he's like half of the wins of Game Lords. Like, if they win, <laughs> it's 50% because we always to see Heste rotating around. You said you liked how he was able to move around last game. And he's moving around again. You can see he's going to that Baron lane and Lonely Kid is looking for the fight. But Echo is there as well. He's pulling oh. attention from Echo, flashing with the death sentence. They're looking for the kill on the Libra. Gets the first blood with a rotation out from Heste. And yep, he it does it. Drake, and like you mentioned, you've already spent that flash on Heste. It's going to be difficult to make a play off of that. We'll just be fishing for hooks at a distance. Redemption. Is looking for something. Capacima will start to walk in here. Beautiful damage coming across. He should have that ultimate coming in. It's just Ender Race trying to buy some time, but a snipe out from Lonely Kid. 350 gold netted to the Jason um, yet again. Because Fury's Gaming saw that Lonely Kid did not have the hole breaker next to his name, they will know someone is close. So oh. it's kind of a kind of <laughs> yes. a like a it's bad giving thing it away, about the right. item. It gives it away. Absolutely. Um, and Furious Gaming, they know for a matter of fact right now, Howlbreaker is not active and so are looking for a fight for pressure in a precarious position. The Moonfall comes in, Transcendent Race to follow through with, but a win slash to take down the Diana. And Game Lord's He's already ahead, got kill. two ganks. He's got a two out of three kills right now. I mean, between the Wukong and the Riven, I'm inclined to agree with you here, Hel uh, uh, Hells. Riptar using the mid side and a beautiful flight coming through, but it is uh, a little bit overextended. Not they sure what happened right there for Ruiz. That was uh, a bit of a questionable turret. Oh, dive. As you can see, you know, they're trying to get that top lane turret. Not sure if they're going to be able to because they won't have enough time to get it. You can see Redemption is going to try to defend it. Trying to run in, clear out the wave where they can. We you can see for the how kill. much damage they have. Trying to bring Ruiz into the fight as well. But goes down before that can happen. Redemption completely disrespecting that isolation damage coming through from Kha'Zix. You cannot do that. Like, sure, Game Lord is winning the game, but you can't fight an, a Kha'Zix when he has isolation damage. They just Echo saw knows that, that the entirety of Furious Gaming went back. They're actually going to try to cheese them. They're going to wait in the bush. Don't talk. They did. Shh, shh. There's no vision. Furious Gaming walking in. Won't be able to get a death sentence, but Redemption is still looking for the engage. Facebooker comes across. Down uh. passage. For Redemption to get out. I, I love these lanterns by Heste. Echo, he stepped too far forward in a spot of danger. Libra losing health so rapidly. Furious Gaming, we need to try and reset here. No HP left on the Baron laner. Oh, Game Lord is doing it. They're winning the fight. Furious Gaming looking for blood, however. They're going Bruce. on to the Dragon. Pressure with a beautiful angle by Ruiz with a kill on the Libra. What a, what a, just got that kill for free. Yo, the four versus five, and Game Lord looked to pull the trigger to try and jump in first. Flash after oh, flash of Furious Gaming, but Prusher in the back line will assassinate his targets. Heste goes down, Lonely Kid as well. But still, Redemption left alive, trying to trade back. They're trying to move on to Ruiz. But Redemption comes back in, gets to knock out the top, will prevent Prusher from coming in. A double kill from Jazz, but the Dragon's still up. Echo has to dash away the leap. 
to get over the wall. Oh, this is way too close. Jash is playing with fire. Oh, he gets the kill. What a huge did that dunk. come from? <laughs> Jash, the Lunan's echo damage <sighs> difference. And Echo trying to run in, but an auto attack. No, he can't. He can't run in. It's unfortunate. Ultimate. They're only sitting on two ultimates right now. But a lot of vision here for Furious Gaming, which is very nice. And like you mentioned, there was that two ultimate expanded. Crusher doing an amazing job, hiding away from all the crowd control, but Redemption sitting by the wings, looking for a re-engage. Here's Transcend and Embrace comes across. Flash in from Hestes as they look for the flame, trying to pull them in, going go to the by time. The Ignite not enough to finish off Crusher. Over by the back, Lonely Kane looking for the re-engage angle as well. Ultimate comes through and going on a rampage. Just once again finds his ultimate, finds its mark. Libra now caught in between members of GLD. Chasing after Ruiz will lead the charge with the rest of his team as they want to take down the set. One more hit will get the job done. And Ruiz charging up the Winds of War. Boom. But against gives it over the Jazz with the bouncing bombs. Jazz is gone. Stop. Not that massive. A little under 4,000. So Furious Gaming still have a very strong fighting chance in this one. But it is looking to be a GLD game. All of the gold is funneled on Jash. That's the problem Fury is gaming as right now. First of all, they can't kill him because he has so much defense. And there you can see it just casually poking away 40% health of a set, who is supposed to be somewhat tanky. And Jash is going to have his ultimate up very, very soon as well. Very quickly looking for a cash here again. Ruiz is going to see oh himself no. pulled in by Libra. But a fight going over to GLD to shut this one off. Hesse over by the back. We see the engage coming through as well from Prusher. But Prusher gets a flash away. Hesse goes down to the opposite end. Redemption now trying to look for a re-engage. Flashing in. Gets a beautiful knockout on the Furious Gaming. But as they hunt them down the mid lane, Sata needs to flash on the wall. And they get to go away but three men down. That's it. That this should be. And if they take it, they've pretty much secured their victory in the series right now. But Furious Gaming trying to run down Echo, rushing oh. over to the Dragon, but he's spotted out by Vision on the way there, and it looks to be a GLD Elder Drake. They move on to the Echo once again to take down the Kha'Zix. Oh. Arrow misses his mark, and Elder Drake will go Lord, over. that's sitting on a very, very comfortable lead. Barons are up by Game Lords. They just took a massive fight now. Emboldened, empowered. Echo is still dead. They are prepared to go for this. Echo is still dead. Ten seconds on the Kha'Zix, but a re-engage out from Heste. They don't want the they don't want the Baron just yet. They want to fight before they get there. It doesn't feel the same without it. But a massive amount of damage out from Libra. They might be able to turn this fight around. Prussia starts to dive in. Redemption is going to be able to cancel out the Moonfall. But Jash over by the back is still doing damage. You have to deal with the Ziggs. And Sartre is finally starting to do a massive amount of damage, but it's kind of too late right now. He dealt so much damage during the team fight. Gaming is not having a fun time right now. They're just kind of waiting for stuff to happen, and Gamelord is going to make stuff happen. They're going to be, they're probably going to be the initiators. There we see it. Oh! Furious Gaming sees Prussia use the stasis and lose a lot of health in the process. The Ruiz looking for the re-engage. flash in, gets the dock up! But it won't be able to finish off the kill. The Chisenda Embrace too effective in a choke point. Furious Gaming is still alive, man. Even though this looks like it's over, it is still alive. They still got it. You know, all of them are alive. Gamelord is starting off this Baron, which is not the right call. This is not Teleport the right call. Teleport for pressure, but they get the hook in. They're looking for the first fight. Looking for a catch off onto Echo. But in the back line, they have to deal with the back line targets first. Try to take Libra off. Go carries. And Jash continues to hammer away at Libra. They try to look for a re-engage. Echo's still alive now, Jash. Throws the bouncing bombs. Uh, and Furious Gaming managed to prevent the or, Baron from going down. Ah, they do it again, actually. Vision in the pit. I don't like this. Here for Furious Gaming. Marie starts to run in. They will spot out Libra on the way there. Prusher again on the flank. He's trying to walk in through the river. They do not have vision of this happening. Prusher gets to run in. He gets to move into the back line. Ruiz has to go back to deal with this strength. The Baron going down. It goes over the GLD. Echo falls. Kaposiba soon to go after. And GLD somehow come ahead with the Baron. Garnet, they, they may as well just take some more series as well. Make it into the group stage. I mean, Furious Gaming looked dominant. They made history taking down an up WRL team. But now GLD revived and revitalized. Oh, Go into this that. one with Heste. Look at that. A kill onto Libra. Prepare to end the game right here, right now. Echo needs to find his way back in. Pressure over by the side, but it's locked down so quickly. The shields will not keep him alive. Redemption survives for his transcendent embrace. No damage out for Campo C, but Ruiz joins back in. The Guardian Angel they out. But Nexus it. falls, and it's GLD with a series hey, win over. Yeah, and they did a great job of, honestly, I think fighting the front line mm -hmm. so there was no follow-up from the rest of